Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Radizio and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how to install Optifine for Minecraft. In my case that is 1.15.2. So when you start your Minecraft launcher, go to the installations page and look at your version that you are running. In my case, I've said that already, is 1.15.2. So then go to internet, doesn't matter if you use Chrome or some other internet browser, and just type in Optifine for Minecraft, and it'll bring you to this official page. Now, of course, you see that the latest version here is 1.14. That is because the 1.15 version is still in development. But no fear, because there is already a preview version. So in the case that when this video is up, there is a 1.15 version on this page, make sure you take that one. But in my case, when it's not up like now, you want to go to the preview versions and take the top one, which is the latest one. It dates from 23rd of February. So it is the latest one that is up. Again, I'll say it again. So if you're on this site and the latest version that you have is listed, you want to take that one. Of course, if you're running another version, you're also allowed to take that. But in my case, that is 1.15. So now that that's clear, go ahead and click on the mirror and it'll bring you here where after you just click on download. It'll start downloading this jar file, which you want to keep. Now it may also take you to an ad flight link or whatever other page that you just want to click on skip ad and just proceed to the download. Now when you click on open, you want to click on install and it shall start all right, there it is. Now that we've done that, we can close our Minecraft and open it back up. I just got this new mouse, so bear with me because I'm not used to the sensitivity of this yet. So then when you go back to the installations page, you see that Optifine is listed here and you just want to click on play then. Now, let me explain why you would want Optifine. It is really handy if you have a slow or laggish computer because you can adjust loads more settings in the video settings which can then optimize your computer. So, go to single player, just make a world. I'll just make one really quick. As I was saying, so then you can actually reduce your particles. You can um, say that you don't want clouds to spawn or shadows and all sorts of things which will enable your PC to run smoother and push out more frames. Now, little disclaimer guys, if your monitor screen is only rated up to, let's say 60 Hertz or 90 Hertz or 240 or whatever it is, that means that your max FPS that will be able to display on that monitor is that amount of Hertz. It is basically just a measure for the amount of refresh screens per second. So now that that's out of the way, click on escape and in the options page, when we go to video settings, you'll see that there are loads more settings that you can choose from for your graphics, your render distance. Those are pretty basic, but you can then also go to quality or performance and so on. Here you can then all turn these on or off depending on your need. In my case, my monitor has max output of 90 hertz so that's why i capped my frame rate to 90 fps if you have a beast computer you might put it to the max but it isn't really necessary as your eyes won't be able to see that anyway so i guess that is all there is to say about this optifine mod i hope it helped if it did please make sure to leave a like that would really help me out and if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Radizio and I'm out.